Few people have asked, how do I share the chemical elements and what's a good way to learn about the periodic table? I want to share with you this fantastic mobile app by Theodore Gray. But before I go into the review, I just want to give a shout out that this is not a promotion. I'm not paid to do this video. It's really just my unbiased and love for this particular periodic table app. This periodic table app is authored by a man named Theodore Gray. And Theodore Gray, I've been actually following for a while. He's a fantastic chemist, and I came across him back in 2009 in purchasing the Chemical Elements book, or the Elements, the visual exploration of every known atom in the universe. And it was very exciting to see that he took that book and created this mobile app. And you can see, sharing with my favorite chemical element, gallium, that it is visually very appealing. But there's also information on this app that I love that he provides, and that's some very basic properties of the chemical elements. Take gallium, for example. I've shared how gallium can melt in your hand. Where do I get the data? Well, it's right here provided on the Periodic Table app. Its melting point of gallium is 29.8 degrees Celsius or 85.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's really exciting to see this at the touch of your fingers. So if you have any interest in the chemical elements, explore Theodore Gray's Visual Periodic Table app. It is in the App Store. Um, he has it bundled with a couple other apps that he's put together. As you see on my screen there, I have those apps right there. Um, so you can probably purchase them as a bundle. But again, this is not a paid promotion, so I'm not going to promote how much they cost and so forth, but I really do love them. I feel they are very much worth the cost. I love to share the chemical element bismuth. And of course, he has a very beautiful picture of bismuth. Not only does he show the chemical element and along with some basic properties, but some background information, which is really fun. And if you really want to nerd out like I do, click on the element that he has visually shown, maybe see in it, its live form in 3D and I think it'll get you really excited to see these periodic table elements. The other thing too, you know, if you're trying to maybe learn a little bit about the history of why a particular element is named the way it is, especially these later chemical elements, something like, you know, Marie Curie, why do we have an element named after her? And am I saying this element correct, like cur curium? Well, what's cool about this app, and I don't know if you can hear it, I'll try and put my mic next to my my uh, iPad so we can hear this together. But ready, listen to this. Curium. Curium. Not too hard. C curium. That's an easy one to pronounce. But what about this particular chemical element? This is one I've always struggled in its pronunciation. Rongenium. 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 I love that. I love that. So, you know, not only does it help you with, in my case, with pronouncing the chemical elements correctly, which I often, after all the years of working in chemistry, I still struggle with because, you know, they are challenging. And especially since we've had some newly discovered element, like element 118, which wasn't too long ago that we announced this particular chemical element. But who is it named after? Why do we have it? Um, you know, why does it have that particular name? And it's kind of interesting to learn that this is one of two chemical elements that were named while that particular person was alive that we named after. Does anyone know what the other chemical element was that we named with using a particular scientist's name? While they were still alive, we announced the name of that chemical element. This is one of them. And if you guessed element number 106, which is named after Glenn Seaborg, you are correct. And it's kind of interesting the history with regards to this chemical element getting its name. And Theodore Gray shares that here on this mobile app. Read on the card of Californium, which is named after California, of course, as to why we named Seaborgium or why it was allowed to be named Seaborgium. It's a really interesting story. And I love that Theodore Gray puts that all together here bundled on the mobile app. Just to add one little bit of like wow factor to this particular periodic table app, he does, and I don't know if this is gonna be a copyright song, so I'm gonna turn the volume down, 
but if you really want to hear what the song says, but I'll show you visually what it looks like, when you hit the song button, it does bring up a periodic table song that was famous, made famous by Tom Lear, a Harvard mathematician in 1959. But you can visually see the chemical elements as this song plays, and it's fun. It's a fun song to learn. I haven't learned it yet. It's definitely challenging in terms of the words, but it's great to list out those periodic table elements. Oh, and he has a song in Japanese too. So there you go. Okay, last little shout out, definitely hit the subscribe button. You know, follow along um, if you enjoy Chemical Kim's videos on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram and TikTok. You can follow me there at Chemical Kim. And you can find me on Facebook as well. But my two big channels are definitely my YouTube channel and my Instagram and TikTok channels. So check out, I'll be posting videos there. It's a great foul. I do wanna give a shout out to my merch as we're getting closer to Halloween. So if you go to your Instagram page, definitely do a search Chemical Kim Shop. I am on Shopify and I do have a Shopify store. You can check me out there. You can also check through my links on my chemicalkim.com website but check out the Halloween merch I have up. Still not too late to, to start shopping for Halloween. So I'll show you my favorite. This is absolutely my favorite. Get it? Positively charged cation. So there you go. If you'd like to nerd out during this, the Halloween season, and I'll be putting up some holiday merch as well, but check out some of the Chemical Kim merch. I think you'll enjoy um, the designs and the joy of showing how much you love chemistry. And if you like my logo, as I've shared throughout many of my videos and on my social apps, I actually do have a shirt which you can purchase that has the Chemical Kim logo on it. So stay curious, definitely hit that subscribe and follow along for more fun Chemical Kim science.